Well, we're buying some Hello Jeopardy's presents. So here's the first one. <laughs> Look, this is how it works. <laughs> and Whoa. here's the second one. Guess what? Works the same way. Oh. <laughs> and how do you turn it off? For our for our Wonder Woman troop expert planner. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter, for getting me our Wonder Woman toy, even though I'm dangerously close to being over my carry-on weight limit. I got you this coffee. Why? Thank you. It's such a tasty coffee. Mmm. That's a Wonder Coffee. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's go. Green wall. New cafe. Area and gate number six. Four greenery. Gate five. Floor. Tree. Another tree. Gates three and two. Delicious beverages. <laughs> Books and magazines and unicorn pens and Wonder Women dolls. All of your lavender teddy bear needs. The best of Tasmania. Gate number one's on the other side, that's where you arrive. Are you excited? Mm. That doesn't sound very excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Except I'm not in control of this aircraft. I don't know who it is, but I hope they're better than I am. I hope they've got a pilot license. <laughs> yes, I don't have a pilot license. Yeah. But I, I can fly this thing because I can I can control any device. Really? <laughs> Camera crew, arm doors, cross check. Turn off. <laughs> All these bright lights make me feel like a consumer yeah. and like we've got watches over here and you can yeah. even get a Marshall amplifier over there yeah. but what I've always wanted yeah. more than anything in the entire world is yeah. a real size toy cow. Right. And there it is. This is me and my friend Muri. much 
food. Like, there was a like, food we got on the plane. There was food at 12 o'clock at night. So we told Flight Centre that Peter needed a gluten and dairy-free meal. And either they neglected to tell us that we would need to call and confirm that with Singapore Airlines, um, or maybe they told us and I might have forgotten. I'm not sure. So what do I eat? Um, the first flight we had that lovely flight attendant. All of the Singapore Airlines staff were amazing. They were very good. They were very, very good. She but was on the super first helpful. flight, she was super helpful and she went and scavenged. There was a ham salad. <laughs> ham salad. And no right. dressing. And every time she passed me, she'd drop off a ham salad. And you ended up with five? Five or six or something. I think you ended up with six because I gave you mine as well. Right. Um, so. was, I was really full. <laughs> yeah. And then she called ahead to the next flight to let them know that there was an issue with the meals mm. and even though they didn't have time to set up a proper meal at least they were aware when we got on board and so they they, just apologized. they apologized and they did their best <coughs> they I was still out full of ham salad by that stage <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, but I like my food it was very good like Singapore Airlines oh, no, thank <laughs> you I had vegan good. meal I had like quinoa salad like roast veggies and like this eggplant thing with tomato sauce. Really good. Mm. What else? Oh, I still got soy milk. In the morning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you got soy, soy milk. milk too. They told me they didn't have soy milk. Yeah. Yep. No, I had, black, soy milk. I had black coffee. Mm. I had soy milk. Oh. Yeah. I thought you had soy milk. No. But we had like a really big... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so coming into Singapore, and it was dark, and we had a window out seat at the right hand side, and I didn't know what I saw at first. It's just a big flash of light, mm. and then and then you say, I'm pretty sure that's an electrical store, yeah. and we just watched and our whole mountainside just lit up like Christmas tree. Well, it wasn't a mountainside, it was. It was clouds. There was just clouds lighting up. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Just in the sky. Because we were, we were still up several thousand metres at that point. Right. It was very so, pretty. It was very beautiful. It was amazing. It's probably, there was a good reason why the plane was so far away from it, I yes. think. Yes. Apparently they do that kind of thing. Yeah. Lightning and aeroplanes apparently don't mix very well. Mm. Mm. As you stepped off the plane in Singapore, it's like quite big warm. As time. you stepped off the plane in Tokyo, it was <laughs> so much better. What happened at Singapore Airport? We had to take the monorail thing. Oh yeah, that was cool. Was it a monorail? Oh yeah, Travel that was really yes, cool. yes, that was cool. Oh, no, like the big one, not that as cool, really cool as the Shinkansen. Although but I was very tired. At that tired. stage, it was cool. At that stage, we cool we hadn't one. been on the Shinkansen. Yes. Second flight, I slept very well. I slept most of the second flight. I got on the aeroplane and I put on my mask and my earplugs and my noise cancelling headphones and I slept through until I needed to go to the bathroom. And then I came back to my seat and put everything back on again and slept until breakfast was served. And I didn't. <laughs> and yes, yeah, we didn't sleep much at all. No. It's the gentleman in front of me who was uh, probably about five foot, I think, decided to recline his chair, which pushed my knees into my pelvis and I could not get comfortable yeah. all night 
the 12 o'clock meal, someone had sort of tapped me on the shoulder as I was falling asleep and going, would you like some food? And I thought maybe they'd made a mistake. It's like, oh, no, 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 thank you. And then they, yeah, and that was my food. And I didn't realize, so that was weird. I probably should have asked him to put his seat forward, but I didn't. So I ended up sticking my foot out in the aisle and I just dozed off for a few seconds and I'm pretty sure I tripped someone over. So I'm very, <laughs> very sorry about that. I like the second flight better from Singapore to Tokyo because I could actually connect my noise cancelling headphones mm, to actually watch movies. something. Mm -hmm. um, and better TV mm. on the second flight. There were flight. better TVs. Touch me. Oh, and we watched. Uh, Goodbye, Christopher. No, um, just Christopher Robert. Christopher Robert. <laughs> the one with you and McGregor. No, I didn't. The Winnie the Pooh film. Yeah. I watched it because there was time with, um, from Brett this being served to landing, there was time enough to watch it, so I watched that too. Yes, yes, Mount Fuji. Yes, Mount Fuji. Yes. Yes. Good old Mount Fuji. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we missed that one because we were in the middle. Wrong. But you guys had the window seat, mm, so we've got some good photos. Yeah. But we have learned our lesson and we're either going to um, ask at the airport or try and move our seats so that, that Peter can sit in the emergency exit row. Or first class. Um, we can't afford first class, so I don't think that's going to happen. Right. Oh, it's also really nice getting hot towels. Oh, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> okay.